Hey y'all, it's gonna be a quick video today. I wanted to show y'all how I put this semi-permanent rinse in my hair. I wanted black hair but was afraid of dye. So I tried out the Adore Blue Black Semi-Permanent Rinse to see how it's gonna look. What are my results gonna be? You gotta keep watching. All right, so you're gonna need the mixing bowl and the brush, black gloves, a plastic cap, shower cap, coconut oil or Vaseline and some clips or something to put your hair away. And to get started you're gonna just pour the dye in a mixing bowl or the rinse shall I say. Pour that in the mixing bowl and I'm just mixing it up because I thought I was doing something. You ain't gotta do that. I didn't add nothing to it. So yeah I thought I was a chemist. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. It's a light like it's a, like a dusty brown. It's still dark brown but it's like a dusty brown to me and I wanted to really dark hair because I was hoping that um, that it would just look better. So I am rubbing that coconut oil all over my face and my neck and everywhere because you don't want that dye stuck all over you and it is messy. So first you definitely want to detangle and um, have your hair clean but I didn't condition yet I just washed so once I finish washing I'm just detangling my hair and don't mess up like I did and forget to put the gloves on put the gloves on so here I'm just taking a brush and I dipped it in a dye and I'm just rubbing it through my hair I'm just um, going over each strand and then after I do that I'm gonna run my fingers through which obviously that has the dye on them too on the gloves and I'm just running it through all over to coat all my strands coat all my strands y'all know what I meant Now I gotta be honest with y'all, at some point it got way easy to just use my hands and dip it into that rinse and just rub it on my hair. I don't know what it was about that brush, but it wasn't for me. Either way it go, it's just as messy. I don't really see a difference in the mess factor. So yeah, that's what you see me doing, running my hands over my hair with the rinse on it. Okay, y'all, I feel like I was making all type of asinine mistakes while doing this. And uh, here I'm just putting on a shower cap. But don't use an old one like I did. Like this one is stretched out and it's like not trying to cover my hair. So get a new one and uh, put it over that dye and just toss it. laughing my ass off do y'all want to see me make mistake number quadrillion all right watch me flumber with this freaking dryer thing i don't know if flumber is a word i don't think it is anyway snap it closed and then put it on and i left it on for whatever the time on the back of the rinse says that's how long i left it on for but I'm thinking, you'll see in a second, that I should have left it on a lot longer. Okay, now I rinse the rinse out until the water ran clear. And I'm gonna add deep conditioner all over my hair, put on a fresh cap, as you see it can fit, and then put on my favorite, my hot head. And I'll be back in 30 minutes, but for you like a second. Okay, everything is rinsed out and done. What y'all think? At first I couldn't see a difference, but now I think I can. The top left picture is after the rinse and the bottom right picture is before. It does look a bit darker, but I'm not gonna lie, it's not as dark as I wanted it to be. And it's far from blue black. Maybe I should have left it in for like 45 minutes to an hour. I was just trying to follow the directions. Anyway, this is how I ended up styling my hair, but you gotta stay tuned and look out for this video next week. I'm gonna show you how I got this cute updo. All right, see y'all in my next video. Love y'all. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.